from John United Stadium in Towson. It's Penn State and 15th ranked Towson. Got a step there and a shot and a score. That's rule again. He missed the first time, but not that time. Got a step on the defender and scores the game's first goal. Very sloppy, especially at the Penn State offensive end. Plenty of turnovers, and there's a shot and a score. Penn State is on the board. That's Nick Dolick. Pass right out in front. Nobody home. And that's about as easy as it's going to get. Stephen Norris with the finish. And where was the Penn State defense? Tomorrow in the ACC championship on the women's side. Here comes Penn State. Shot and a score. So they converted in a hurry that time. Won the draw. And Matthew McRedis scores his 32nd goal of the season. <laughs> Trying to get a step and Kevin Etter playing some pretty good defense and there's a shot and the score. So the Tigers, it was a long offensive possession after they forced the turnover on the defensive end, but they cash in and the lead back to three. And a shot and a score and I think it'll count. Gribben got the shot off. And what a lift for Penn State. You see the dismay from Travis Love, a buzzer beater. Mental mistake, great shot, but this is what you call a soft goal. He sees it all the way, no screen. You know what's coming with that short amount of time left, and Love just didn't hug that pipe enough, and Travis Love still standing out there trying to get over the fact that he let in a real soft goal to Billy Gribben. Towson's been a little bit more aggressive than Penn State, but just, again, the execution. Running left-hander, there's the first goal of the half. Will Harrington can't keep him quiet all game. Goal number 21 for the senior on senior day here at Towson. Grew up in Towson, played his prep lacrosse at Friends. The extra pass in front and the shot and the score. Good unselfish play as Tim Stratton gets the goal for the Tigers. Didn't take him long to answer. It's been the story of the game. Welcome back to the capital of the Constitution State, Hartford, Connecticut, for game two of the ESPNU Warrior Lacrosse Classic. Matching familiar foes, the UMass Minutemen and the Georgetown Ahoyas. Georgetown second in the Big East, although there is no automatic qualifier from the Big East. Face-off win by Rushing, charges in and scores. Greg Rushing, five seconds in off the face-off win, gives UMass an early 1-0 lead. Libel will invert from behind the cage. The junior dodges with the left, feeds, bounce shot low, and a score. And then make it to the championship. They would host the CAA championship. Manny goes low and scores. UMass back on top. A lot of Virginia over the past couple weeks with this play developer for asked question. Godoy gets the turnover. Off the rebound, UMass scores to regain the lead. UMass gets a turnover. Minute men in transition. Selentani with the long pole. Winds and fires. One goal game again. This is DeMario. Gets a step, DeMario charges in and ties it with 90 seconds to go. First start on the attack line for UMass and he comes up with a critical goal to tie it at 12. Hayne number five has it in his stick. Hayne gets a step. Hayne bounce shot, score, UMass on top with 32 seconds to go. Three straight goals for the Minutemen to come back from a 12-10 deficit. UMass on top with 32 seconds remaining. Clock hits zeros and UMass wins it 13-12. The Minutemen score the game's final three goals that come from behind win over Georgetown.